And you'll see that actually in the um, exhibition. Um, the last book that I'm going to talk about of his is um, translates as um, wild or savage. It's a wordless book, so anybody can um, form their own interpretation of what the pictures are saying. Um, oh, whoops, I want to just um, preface this a little bit. Um, in this picture, a um, man is getting ready to go on safari, and he has placed a picture of a tiger in this frame. There's also a book um, behind the lamp over there, and in other, in other pictures, you see that it's Kipling's Jungle Book, <laughs> um, which I will get to again in a minute. But um, um, in, a, in a prior spread, we see a hand taking a picture out, uh, we, holding a picture and putting it in the frame. Then, um, Later, what happens is that, that once the guy is out of the house, um, the tiger leaves the frame and starts wandering around. So um, it starts, it makes you start thinking about um, um, why um, the hunter, what is the hunter doing? And um, by the end, you're, you know, the whole thing is very um, um, mysterious. Um, and you, you go back and you look at the front end paper and you see that there's the, the um, blank space where that photograph had been taken out. And then when you look at the back end paper, you see a photograph of the hunter. And it makes you say, well, who's the hunter? Who's being hunted? And then um, you start thinking about um, questions of power and domination. And it could be literally in the jungle, or it also could be in um, countries that have been colonized, like Brazil was. Um, so the allusion to the Kipling book. Um, it really suggests the fascination that civilized people have with the exotic, right, the wild. Um, and we saw how um, the Indian author turned the tables on Kipling. And here, Roger Mello also turns the tables on Kipling's story, but in a different way. We see, um, we see him really questioning um, um, the idea of colonialism and possibly, I don't know, retribution or um, rebellion or something like that. It, it can go anywhere because, of course, it's wordless. So um, I could talk more about Roger Mello's work, but of course, I don't have that much time. Um, so the last part of the, oops, the last part of the talk. I wanted to focus on the way the children's books from other countries challenge our sense of what is appropriate or inappropriate for children. And that's where we get here. In some cases, we can articulate what we think is inappropriate, right? But in many other cases, we can't articulate it. We can't put our finger on it. But we say to ourselves, this doesn't feel right, or this book doesn't go anywhere. Um, so I have some examples to show you. Um, oof, I'm running out of time. Um, I'll make it quick. Okay, in this pairing, there are two young girls, um, one from the U.S., one from Japan, um, who are both excited about having learned things. In Japan, she says, I learned to study from my friends, the teachers. So. Other pages go on. I learned to run from my friend the dog. I learned to do this. She is saying that um, she, um, uh, people have helped her along the way. Uh, and then you compare it to, to Jamie Lee Curtis's book, which I like very much. 
Um, but you see it's called blowing off a little self-esteem. I'm going to like me, blowing off a little self-esteem. I'm going to like me when I, well, let's see, when I'm called to stand, I know all my letters like the back of my hand. And Jamie Lee Curtis learned this stuff all by herself, obviously, right? Nobody had, had to help her. Um, so these two books, as a comparison, show that Curtis's young protagonist um, exudes the self-reliance that we look for in American children, right? We really, um, we really prize individualism. And Gomi's character, um, the, the Japanese girl, displays the Japanese value of community, of interdependence rather than independence. Okay, got to move on. Um, I'm absolutely too small for school. Hmm. Okay, um, Lauren Child's book, both of these books are about kids who, who are about to go to kindergarten. It's the, the summer approaching um, school starting. And she is nervous about it. Um, what I think is interesting here is that the background is graph paper and that really underscores a feeling of rationality of things that could be measured or not measured. Um, so here in this book, the cartoon illustrations um, show Lola in situations described by the text and Charlie explains everything that she's going to learn in school and she has a reason not to go each time. Eventually, um, her big reason is that Soren Lawrenson, who's her imaginary friend, won't have anybody to eat lunch with at home. And Charlie says, well, Soren Lawrenson's going to school, so if you don't go, he won't have anybody to eat lunch with. And so she goes, and the first day from school, she comes back home, and she has a real-life flesh-and-blood friend. So that resolves the issue. Um, it's a very satisfying ending, um, and possibly to Pat, but in any case, we'll move on to Garmin Summer, which um, has illustrations <laughs> that you see are odd, right? <laughs> um, these are illustrations are Garmin's imaginings, because he's, his three aged aunts or great aunts come to um, visit them at the end of every summer. And he says every summer they seem to shrink a little bit. And so this is his idea of how they're pretty soon they're, he's not going to be able to even see him, see them. Um, he asks each of them, what are you afraid of? And for instance, this great aunt is afraid of having to use a walker with wheels. But this is the picture he imagines in his head. <laughs> so um, the, all of the pictures are um, digitally manipulated. They stimulate the senses. The compositions are often unbalanced. Um, and the artwork is really designed to evoke a sense of instability and tension. At the book's end, his garment is going to be going to school the next day, and the text reads, and he is still scared. So this is not a neat ending, and it's an ending that Americans wouldn't put, because we want to reassure a child, oh, it'll be okay, right? But um, Norwegians, I can claim half of that, um, don't seem to feel like that. 